All right, guys. So for today, we are going to work on building an improved tapered siding jig. Now, we've previously built a jig that will do one cant at a time, and it works pretty well. Um, I've been quite happy with how it's worked. But what we're going to do today is I want to upgrade it so that I can mill three cants at a time. So this is what we have currently where our cant would sit, of course, going across like this. We would have a spacer strip on the back side of it so that the cant is tilted kind of towards the camera here. And then either after each pass you either lift this up or you let it drop down and then that is what tilts the cant back and forth so that you can get the taper on it. But what we're going to do today is build something sort of similar to this except so that we can do three at a time instead. Okay, so what we've got so far is a piece of angle iron that is hooked with a bolt at the other end. And then we've got our clamp over here that we can use to lift it up and down. And then what we'll do is we'll put three bolts down the length of this piece of angle iron here. And that way we can fine tune the height adjustment for each of the three cans. All right, so this is what we've got now. We've got our three bolts along through here, and that's what'll lift up on the edge of the camp. And then we've got our action clamp underneath here, so that when we lift up on that, it lifts this piece of angle iron up, and it moves them all up in one motion. So the next step on our jig here is to adjust our our little lifters here and get them set to the right height. So for our spacer piece that we use on the back of the cant, uh, this go around I'm going to try using a piece of plywood instead and the reason for that is I think it's going to be a little bit more stable and that if I use a piece of wood that I've milled it may shrink uh, as it loses some moisture or something it whereas the plywood should stay fairly similar to the thickness that it is to start with. Alright, we've got our three spacer sticks over here, and I went ahead and actually countersunk the holes on them for where the screws are going to go. That way we can just make sure that when we hook these onto the cants that those screw heads aren't going to stick up above the wood, and if it happens to be over top of one of the log bunks, it's not going to mess up our tilt on the cant at all. Okay, so we're going to call this a uh, proof of concept design. 
in that it looks good except for the fact that the angle iron we're getting a little bit of bending in it when we're lifting it up it's not quite able to support all of the weight of three big cants on top of it however it does appear that it's going to work if we have something that will be able to support that so i'm going to see if i can source a thicker wider deeper piece of either angle iron or square tubing channel something like that that'll be able to support this weight and then we can try it again and see if this is actually going to work all right so after some hunting around uh, we are going to be upgrading from a piece of angle this size to one this size now the other piece is about twice as thick of the gauge it's on one side it's half again as wide and the other side is twice as wide so if this thing doesn't work well we got some problems Well, I think this might do it. I had to do a little bit of modification to it here and make a few adjustments after I got it in here and was looking at it. But I think this is going to do the trick. We'll have to do a little bit of milling on it. It is pretty stiff lifting it because there's a lot of weight on this thing. So I do have to stick a piece of short piece of tubing onto the handle on the uh, clamp. So that way I've got a little bit more leverage to lift it with. But other than that, it's pretty good. All right, so we're gonna try doing some milling on these today. And I think what we'll try doing is we're gonna take off one of the cants and we're gonna see what it's like with just two on there because it is really heavy to shift it with all three of them on. So I'd, I'm kinda curious to see what it, how hard it's gonna be with two and we might have to just go with two because it's really stiff to do three on there at a time. It, it's heavy, it really is. So I think we might have kinda gone over the, uh, the beneficial side with this and it's starting to actually get worse with maybe three. We might be better just to try and do two with this jig uh, and then come up with something that has a little bit more mechanical advantage if we wanna try doing three at a time. Okay, yeah, this is way better with just two on here because with having the third one on, I can't really get in there real well onto the handle for the clamp. With the third one off, I can get right on it. I can pull straight up. It's a whole lot easier to get into and without that extra weight, uh, it just makes a world of difference. So I think we may have to stick with just two cants for this jig.
right, we got those two cants done and I'm pretty happy with how that went. Uh, it was definitely faster than doing it one at a time. I'm not sure how much, but with having a manual mill, you've got certain things that are gonna stay the same as far as how long it takes, such as to crank the mill up and down after each pass. Doesn't matter whether you got one cant up here, two cant, three cant, still takes the same amount of time to crank it up, crank it down, pull it back, reset it etc so you got some time savings in there for certain things that are constant regardless of number of cans also it worked really well with two on there and i don't think it was a total miss setting it up to do three at a time because these two cans were big they were about as big of a cant as i'm going to have up here for siding it's you know a good 20 22 inches tall there's a lot of weight there However, not every cant that I have for siding is going to be that big. Sometimes you got a little bit of weighing on them, so you end up with a shorter cant, less weight. And I think that if you had three of those that instead of being 20, 22 inch, were maybe only 14 inches tall, something like that, you might be able to get away with doing three cants on here. Now, of course, with the style lever that we've got here, because we've got the action clamp that pushes it, but then you've also got a lever. So you got the fulcrum at the end closest to the back of the mill where the sawdust comes out. And each cant that you get that's further away from that fulcrum, it's going to be heavier to lift. The closer it is to the fulcrum, the easier it is to lift. So adding on a third one really does add on a good bit more weight to it. But I think that it, it is plausible that if you had three smaller cants, you would be able to do all three of them at the same time. So as you can see, the mechanics of this jig, it's pretty simple, really. I mean, you've got a, a pivot at the one end that's on the sawdust chute side of it and or a fulcrum and then you've got the straight line action clamp that's on the near side of uh, the side that i'm walking on over here opposite from where the sawdust comes out and then that lifts up and down on that to raise and lower the bolts that come through the angle iron then that is just attached to a piece of two by four that goes across there uh, it spans between the two sections of track the two uh, I guess pieces of angle iron that are the tracks for the mill and that's really about all there is to it. I did have to notch out the 2x4 so that the nuts from the bolt could kind of drop down into the 2x4 a little bit and you know just little things like that but overall it's a pretty simple design so i think i'm going to call this a success of sorts i'm not able to do quite as much as i was hoping to uh, using you know all three spaces for three full-size cans but i kind of thought that might be pushing it just a little bit but the fact that i can do twice as many as i could before doing two cans instead of one and possibly three cans if they're smaller instead of one that's really good as far as i'm concerned so i'm pretty happy with how this thing turned out as always i always love to hear what you guys uh, have to say about this any suggestions about how i can make it better and of course i'm going to be thinking about this as well every time i'm using it see if i can come up with a better way to lift it or possibly make it so i can do three at a time you know always always ways to improve it make it a little bit more efficient so i'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say down in the comments as always i appreciate you guys watching and i will see you next week.